Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you a way of creating a kind of stair-like structure that has um, the ability to use, which is obviously parametric and it's made in Rhino and Grasshopper, and which can adjust the story height, the amount of like stories that you want to have, then uh, how many of them are like divided, then as well of like what's the distance between them, as well the general stretch. And there was another parameter which I don't really um, recall right now, but uh, well, we will get to it, I think. Um, so to explain it simply, um, and if you can look at the grasshopper file, we're gonna use um, basically a line. And this line will have, will be moved upwards. And when it's moved upwards, it will be rotated. Opa. Okay. It will be rotated like uh, this. So you're gonna have it like this. So I have like a certain angle here, and there's also will be like a the rotation like midpoint. And when it's gonna be rotated, um, this rotation. It's going to be moved up again, and we're going to have the same thing again, uh, but a little bit more higher. So we're going to have a super rotation on the thing, and um, it will be like a circle in a way. So the way we're going to do is this, like we will start with a simple um, point, and we're going to use the line SDL tool which will define the line itself. You're going to use some parameters here as well in order for to know it where it is in the room. So this is our base point and we do going to use an X factor and this will be our starting point and we're going to use as well like a certain length that we're going to change later as well. And um, next thing I'm going to do is you're going to move it upwards uh, to the Z direction and we're going to use a series um, in order for it to have a like a pattern of moving upwards. And um, those things are like variable. We can use, use this unit Z here as well. So now we have how our like different uh, moved upwards things. So next thing we're gonna do is we'll be we, uh, define this like middle point where it's gonna rotate through. So we're gonna use um, we're gonna use uh, under analysis curve analysis uh, evaluate curve, and we are having um, like the different like points of the curve. In this case, we just it's like one point here, one point here. Like it's gonna be like all over the place basically. And we're gonna use uh, we're gonna use a range, and this range is dependent on the number of uh, like stories we have. So we're gonna use um, the to, um, we're gonna subtract because like just one because uh, the range will always create one more because it will like divide it up in the place. So now we have 15 values and here we have 15 values as well. So I see we have the values on here. Maybe we can jitter them as well in order for them, for them to be like more random. So um, we have some certain like randomness factor to it as well. Depends on your your liking to it. So maybe like this. And now this will be our like a rotation uh, center and we will be rotating the um, upwards moved um, things and the the pla base plane will be basically those things. Right now it's rotating in like 90 degrees or like on 2.5, uh, 0 0.5 times pi, but we're gonna use degrees in order for it to be like more reasonable. And we're gonna use a series here as well. And the series will be obviously the count of the series will be the number of stories that we have. And um, the the rotation angle will be in this case um, adjustable again, depending on how extreme do you want those rotations to be. So now we're gonna have it like here, yeah. Let me make this preview like this, okay. <clears throat> And um, so yeah, now we are having 
those things here as well. And now, as you see, we have very nice rotation um, going here as well. So let me just check real quick how I did it in the other scripts in order for it to be working correctly because I was moving those things. Ah, oh, yeah, exactly. So uh, what I want to do now, oh, it's another script. Um, what I'm going to do now is I want to make a um, division of those of this curve. And um, I'm also I'm going to move. Yeah, I'm going to make a division of this curve. And uh, it will be like in small like single pieces. And there will be a connection between the two points of each of those curves and we will like flatten it basically out in order for it to be uh, more like um, more straight and not be like downwards basically. And we're gonna use the flip matrix tool, which gonna basically, uh, instead of counting numbers like this, we will count the numbers like down here. And um, we will you know, gonna use a vector two points and also a shift list command. So we also always are using like the next one in line basically. So um, actually one thing we're gonna do as well that we might have done in the other one is to use a way of, because we might be a problem later uh, because those con pin things will be like very closely connected and it might be, well, let's just see how it works. Maybe it will be turned out fine. So um, we're gonna use the shift list command and we're gonna use this one and that one. Now we have like the, the vectors between two, two of these points and um, we're gonna deconstruct this vector and we're gonna uh, reconstruct it, but like without the Z components in order for it to be like straight level. Um, uh, construct vector, uh, yeah. And now we're gonna use um, plane tool in order for it's for uh, the planes to be correct. Construct plane, and the origin will be the base points of this thing, and the x-axis will be that. So this looks actually quite fine for now. Let me just decrease number of count that we have in order to be more clear to here. And I'm gonna maybe increase that in order for it to be, to look actually, to see what's going on. Maybe increase that value as well a little bit. Yeah, nice, okay. So now we have our, uh, our planes that are all around there. And we also might need to, um, flip the curve in order for it to be um, like on the right side. So we're just gonna use the XZ plane here. And I think this might fix the problem. I oh, know by plane uh, flip. Well, this is the, the plugin that you might not know yet, so I don't really recommend using that, but um, we can use this one definitely, or we might be able to use uh, just plain. Yeah, just plain, and with that, those normals are all like in the right direction. You see, like before, if we didn't use that one, the planes were a little bit like some is to the wrong side, but we need, they need to be on the right side. So now they're on the right direction and we can, uh, for example, create um, a rectangle with that as well. And the rectangle will be sitting here and the distance between the rectangle will be the division of the length, um, of the length and the points it will be divided like from this thing. So it basically takes the length and divides it by uh, how, how it will be divided. And there we have our length of the 
Y size, for example, and as you see now, those things are matching up quite nicely. And um, we're having some troubles here in the end, but I think uh, we will get to that later, like some troubleshooting. And the X size will be just, I think it can be, should be like, um, doesn't need to be defined too much. So, yeah. So here, for example, that was, I was like, getting afraid a little bit more before. We have the problem that those points are basically lining up to the other side. And now the, the um, vector between this point and this point is on the other side and the resulting rectangle will be displayed like the other way around. So um, in order to fix that, um, we can either like change the curves, for example. So in order for that, we can just uh, manipulate the curves a little bit more that we have here in the beginning, like those ones. And we're just gonna, for example, move them uh, in a series uh, to the uh, Y direction um, or into the X direction. I'm not actually, I think it's in the Y direction. And with the same amount of counts, and we're gonna use a number as well. And um, this will be put in here, there and there. And now they will be all basically being forced like in to like one direction. So that like solves the problem a little bit. And um, you have like single individual uh, cubes. And like, uh, yeah, we need to also extrude them as well in order for that to work exactly. Let me actually check, I don't know why it needs to be, because there's still some trouble here in the middle. And actually I read, no, I'm not really certain of why I did it like this, but uh, not the other way that I did it before. Anyway, we're gonna extrude or we're gonna use the surface tool um, for box and we're gonna use the height that we like were setting in the beginning of those things so not right now we have the same height here and those things so let's just try to increase a little bit mm -hmm. oh yeah okay interesting anyway um Hope you guys enjoy. Like those is like those are like the troubleshooting things. For example, um, I mean, I did the script one time before, uh, well, like a couple of times, and um, sometimes the 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 mistake isn't really apparent, and you have like different like fault process on the way you do it, and uh, there's always a different way of how you do a script. So if you have Sometimes the script doesn't really work through because there might be like a false um, way of defining the vector or anything. And um, so you always need to like be like careful with those things. I will troubleshoot this guy now and I will see how it works. It's always very difficult to do this while talking. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and um, took something from it and see you in the next one.